Hey, welcome to Corsaro Music Podcast. It's making some coffee. Some mushroom coffee. So, this first episode out of the Austin studio. Got some of these mushroom coffees laying around the house. One of the new roommates had a bunch of them. <clears throat> and I haven't had time to go get a new pour over thing yet. So I haven't been drinking real coffee lately. I've just been drinking this mushroom coffee. But since it's so much easier to make, I'll just make it right here on the uh, on the podcast. The only thing is it smells a little weird. It kind of smells like old bacon. Like old bacon and... Like, <laughs> it smells like if you were eating breakfast inside a pet store. But I also double up on them. Get that double bag. Let's see, what have these got in them? I figured out the other day that if you mix two of them together, it gives you like a crazy jolt. So one of these has lion's mane and chaga in it. And the other one has cordyceps and chaga. So I'm getting a double dose of chaga. Some lion's mane and cordyceps. I don't know, but I had a double pack the other day. That took off, bro. Enough about coffee, though. This isn't a coffee podcast. This is a music podcast. And if you'll notice, I got this crazy rug behind me. I've been doing some sound treatment in the new studio. Um, Because I unloaded my storage unit last week. I got that fully unloaded on Saturday. Uh, Nothing left in there at all. Everything I own is gone. So now I just got to sort through it and get rid of the stuff I don't need and set up the stuff I do need. So like bookshelves over here with lesson books and method books and I'm actually going to straighten that up. There we go. That's good enough. That's a microphone case right there. So yeah, I've been organizing my studio, getting the drums set up. Um, Got a lot of production opportunities coming up, but I'll talk about those later. I'll just talk about the schedule for this week. Monday to Monday. So here we go. Today, I think the Elephant Room started their jazz jam again. So I'm probably going to go out to that tonight. Um, I'm going to go to Kill Tony first. That's uh, 8 to 11-ish. But the Elephant Room Jam starts at 9. They play a set, but the jam session session part actually starts at 10. So that's right in time. Kill Tony ends. And then I'll head on over down to the elephant room. Play some jazz. Uh, tomorrow is late at the lake at Mozart's. So I've been running sound for that. And well, they've already been running sound on their own, but they brought me along to kind of be an extra stage hand with the sound, but also be in charge of recording the nights. So the first two runs I've did, there's been three in October so far. I couldn't make the first one. But the previous two, or the two after that, I've made it to. And been troubleshooting and getting logistics and setup worked out, but I figured it out. And this week is going to be the first full real run. Let's see. We have the, tomorrow, 
and then the second uh, November second, I think, is the last uh, edition of the Late at the Lake. So this week's edition tomorrow, if you're listening to this day, it comes out. If you're one of the three people that does um, costume contest tomorrow, so you show up and they're gonna have a lineup at eight. Everybody in their costumes, and the winner gets a prize like a T-shirt or something. So. Dress up, come on out, sing a song. It's actually a really, really good open mic. I've been to a lot of open mics. This is one of the best ones that I've not only just been a part of, but actually went to and attended. So check that out. Late at the Lake, Mozart's Coffee Roasters, Lake Austin Boulevard, Austin, Texas, U.S. of A., um let's see after that wednesday nothing planned for wednesday but i gotta hustle some gigs so i'm gonna go out and actually patronize some venues uh see where would be a cool place to do whatever kind of music i want because the way i'm setting up my uh production company i guess it's like whatever whatever kind of vibe you want for your event i should be able to add to it and only add right so if you want a jazz vibe i can do that if you want a dance vibe i can do that if you want a reggae vibe i can do that if you want old school funk vibe I can do that just want people to dance and have fun you don't know what you want the vibe to be you only got like a few bare minimum ideas I can do that (coughs) one second pause break Okie dokie. Sorry about that. Y'all know how it goes. I have to blow my nose in the morning, and I don't have tissues in here yet. So, I haven't even taken a sip of this coffee. I've just been waiting for the smell to, like, dissipate, or at least to get used to it. Here I go. It's weird because it doesn't taste anything like it smells. But it does smell like a like the the hamster bedding that you put at the bottom of a hamster cage. Man. Anyway, it'll it'll pep you up for sure. I already spilled some, man. So, Wednesday, hustling for gigs. Thursday, same thing on Thursday, but I've got a lot of, like during the day I'm behind the scenes stuff, like all week I'm doing more sound treatment, that rug was just step one, behind me you can kind of see in this corner over here, there's like a little archway for the door, I have to cover that up, I'm going to get some curtain rods and hang some heavy duty curtains, just to kind of like block a little bit of the sound it's not going to totally block the sound but it'll keep some kind of privacy if people are walking in and out or just it's a visual aid knowing when there's recording going on and then behind the monitors in front of me behind the monitor i gotta hang some stuff and on the ceiling gotta put some stuff too Probably going to tackle the ceiling last, but the 
cool thing about this room with the drums is I can move them around in that doorway behind me. Um, after I hang up the curtains, I can just keep them open and then put a mic outside that door, like above it, because there's a hallway. You can get a nice hall reverb kind of live mic situation going. Again, sorry for the 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 blow my nose break. Nose break. Um, yeah, I'm laying down all night. Everything's fine, and then I sit up in the morning, and it's like just doesn't stop. Um, where was I? Thursday. Sound treating, working on more tunes. I'm listening through. There's still a bunch of tunes I've got for the rest of the year that are pretty cool, but I think I decided I'm going to ditch the ones that I'm not completely stoked about and not do one a week for the rest of the year and then just kind of maybe release an EP at the end of the year with like four or five good ones that I like Um, because I got a few, like four or five good ones that are pretty good. And now that I have the drums, I can lay down real drum tracks for them. That's going to take some time. Uh, but most of the tracks I did, I either programmed shitty drums or used Logic's stock drummer. Um, but I'm still going to keep those grooves, but just mute them and record real drums. And then maybe retrack other stuff that I need. But definitely going to still release music towards the end of the year. Because now that I'm in a new facility, a new studio, I got the Superfly Studios coming up. Uh, real nice now. Have a lot more production opportunities. Um, also going to be streaming more. Where uh, the internet seems to be decent enough here to stream. We got a lot of people here that do streaming, so we got to kind of optimize our connections here, our internets, and. Uh, get some hard lines going to rooms where we need them the most. Get some Wi-Fi range extenders. And uh, then I'll be able to start doing more live streams from this room. That'll be cool. Do a gnarly Parker stream. Maybe once a week I'll do that. Um, or even maybe a few times a week I'll do that. I don't know. But my other roommate and I, Yonder, Yonder Wizard, follow him on Instagram twitch youtube everywhere we're gonna be doing live streams in here like a duo he's gonna sing songs and play and i'm gonna accompany him he'll be doing his own live he's been doing his own live streams we're gonna do some live streams together and i'm gonna do some of my own live streams and um just a lot of really cool stuff coming up at this uh this production house i don't know if we got an actual name for it yet but so far, we have a recording studio in here. We have a podcast studio upstairs. And then uh, our kitchen is awesome. I do some kitchen videos. Again, blow my nose real quick. One second. Alright, that's three times so far. Maybe once I get an editor, I can have them put in a blow my nose counter or something. Uh, it's another sip for coffee though. 
I mean mushroom juice. Friday, Duo Nouvelle. Um, it's our second to last Friday. Our last Friday is in November. So this is our last chance in October to catch us on a Friday night. Things have been going pretty good. I might even end up recording this Friday night. Got my GoPro out of storage. Um, set that up and record that. Get some video, get some audio. Since my recording rig is working nicely now, I'll figure out a way to bring that to gigs. That'll be cool. It's just a laptop and a Behringer mixer. It's a little bit of stuff, but for Duo Nouvelle, I don't bring my whole drum set. I bring half of it. So I can kind of justify to myself bringing some recording stuff. So yeah, might record this week's Duo Nouvelle. Might record next week's Duo Nouvelle. Don't know. Um, but if you're there for one of those recordings and you're there because you heard it here, please let me know. I would love to meet people that listen to this. Um. Uh, Especially early on, because I don't know anybody that listens to this except, like, my dad. Um, maybe, like, a, I think I have, like, one or two other friends. Maybe Felix still listens to it. I don't know. Yo, Felix, if you still listen to this, message me, brah. Uh, Beto, I mean. I, just, I met him as Felix. Um, either way... That brings us to Saturday. I got another wedding gig on Saturday. That's private. Probably not going to stream that, but I'll take some pictures and put them on Instagram or whatever. And then Sunday. Sunday's Halloween. That's right. I almost forgot. This is the whole reason I was excited about this episode today. I'm doing a gnarly Parker gig at Mozart's Halloween night at uh, 7 o'clock, 7 to 10. Come in your costume. Dress up and hang out at the lake. Uh, a haunted harbor party. I don't know what we're going to call it, but I'm playing scary synth music all night. Um, I'm going to try and record some of that also. Bring my recording set up and Try and get that going. Uh, I need more gnarly Parker content. So that's why I'm doing it. I need more content in general. Which is why I'm doing this. So just get my speaking hours up on uh, the YouTube. So I've only had a couple episodes that were less than 10 minutes. But oh no. I just forgot. I have to put up. I'll do it at the end. Because this is episode 15. And I didn't put it up. Son of a gun. Let me put it up now just for the screenshot. Alright. I took the screenshot for the overlay. Or the entrance. The thumbnail clip whatever youtube calls it i don't know youtube's not gonna be mean but sunday gnarly parker be there help support and then that'll bring us right around to monday you'll get another one of these for episode number 16 where i'll talk about how all those gigs went so we're right at 20 minutes that's a perfect episode so thanks y'all for listening um thanks for staying involved go to my website um share the website if uh, you know anybody that needs drummers for gigs hit me up looking for more work i love booking my own gigs and doing my own stuff but i also love being a side man so hit me up for whatever you need drum recordings coming soon remote tracking coming soon um commissions 
available. If you want some music commissioned, let me know. I have a couple of credits so far, but I'm trying to get better and get more. So uh, right now I'm just looking for opportunities. So if you know one or have one, hit a brother up. But until next week, y'all have a great time. I'll see you around this week, maybe. If not, follow me on Instagram. You can find all my links on my website, CorsaroMusic.com, and the Patreon. So take care, everybody. See you next week.